taking you inside the Wolf's Den. Brought to you by Little General Stores. Welcome back to the Dana Holgerson Show and inside the Wolf's Den. I'm Wolfman, and this, of course, is offensive coordinator for WVU, Jake Spavadol. How you Jake, doing? How Wolf? you doing, man? I'm doing good. How hey, you doing? Great. Thanks for entering the Wolf's Den and gonna break this down. We got a lot of good stuff right here, so awesome. I want to get right into it. But how we're gonna start out here is David Sills. He had 10 receptions against Kansas State, 73 yards, but three touchdowns. <laughs> Yeah, the key to this right here, uh, the, the key to his success down here in the red zone was if you look at the amount of numbers that Kansas State was putting into the, into the box to stop the run, which, uh, you know, we think that this duo right here down on the goal line is one of the top in the country. And, and obviously with the 18 touchdowns they had last year, they had a lot of success doing this. So if we ever get this matchup right here, we're going to try to utilize this as much as possible, which uh, they've, they've got a pretty good rapport right now in terms of running a slant and a fade concept. And a lot of this is on them. I put this whole play completely on Will and David and let, allow them to do what they feel is necessary, which I thought this was a pretty interesting play for David right here. But look how hard inside leverage this guy is right here. And he still has that ability to st square him up get in front of him right here to at least have the illusion where he possibly could run a fade and then slants it off. Will does a really good job at holding these defenders into the box to allow them that opportunity to hit the slant for a touchdown. The footwork is, is right there. That's where it all starts with this because exactly. the, these defenders cannot get guard. Let's go to the next play. So Spav, now this last drive, I have to tell you that I, I, I loved it. A 57 uh, second drive, 73 yards. You know, I put the boom on there because I haven't <laughs> seen a drive like this executed in college for a very, very long time, if ever. So I want you to take us through it, break it down, man, and just tell us what's going on in your head, what's going on in theirs. Yeah, this, uh, I thought this was a great opportunity for us. The defense was playing well. They gave us another uh, an opportunity at the end of the half. We scored to make it 14-0. Uh, defense three and out of them and got us back into position with 57 seconds left, and we had a few timeouts in this. So I felt like you give our offense this much time and those many timeouts like it, we're going to have a pretty good opportunity to to move the ball. So we wanted to just get the drive going a little bit here um, with a we call this the cross pattern, which we were trying to hit Gary right here with trying to hit him in that window where if that linebacker right there pushes out with uh, Gary, then that post curl with TJ Simmons is going to come wide open. Right. We put a back out here in the flat to get number five to hold, get him to hold for a little bit. That's going to be a nice, easy completion with the play fake right here. Uh, going this direction, that's going to be a, a good little drive starter for us. Like to do these in two minute situations. Yeah, nice. So we get the first down, clock stops for a second or two, get the offense set. Here's the second play. Right. Again, so, so clock stops. So we got an opportunity to, to have a play where we can call a protection, identify the front, make sure we're in a good call. Um, again, we talk about isolation in here. So you see the isolation, the separation between the DB and here uh, and the receiver, which Will does a good job understanding and recognizing that, seeing that. That gets in, and that now that stops the clock, right? So we can end up taking our time on the next one. We're not in a hurry, and we don't have to take a timeout. So that was a good call. So he was giving him a lot of room here, but now he's walking it up. So let's talk about what happened. Yeah, so it, they, they got exposed right there on that last play, and they are good coaches. So what they tried to do to Will, which I think this is a veteran move, is they tried to press, take away the isolation between these two, just so we don't throw that route again. All right, but Will, Will has a great understanding of knowing that these guys are soft, that there's more than likely he's going to bail. All right, so Will, like, for rookie quarterbacks, they, that would probably take your eyes off of that mm -hmm. and they'd try to get to another read. Will knew that he was going to get a press bail, get to the same exact deal, same exact play, catch, and get out of bounds. Thought that was very well executed by those guys and for Will not just being, you know, making sure that he stays on that and yeah. not getting off his read. Three plays, 30 yards. Now you're going to go to Gary Jennings down here. And I don't know if everybody realizes how great of a catch this was by Gary. Right. So we came back to the first play of the drive because I wanted to expose this area right here because I know with this concept up top, it's going to take those three guys out of the picture where with Gary and his speed, we can get that right there in that window. So. We we're doing the same exact concept that we started off the drive with. We're going to have the play fake. All right, now you see the window. Will hangs on it because that backer's not playing out as far as the last time. All right, this is an exceptional throw. All right, right there in the window. And that what a, what a catch by Gary. Seen those guys do that a lot in practice. Um, nothing shocking to the coaching staff or <laughs> any around, but it, what a phenomenal play and great pocket presence right here. Um, he ends up, you know, you see Will take a shot right at the end of that. He, you know, he's, he's pretty so fearless the in there. 
which is great. If you rewind that a little bit more backwards, look at Gary. Gary ain't even, he's not even looking. Yeah. All right. And then he expects that in the next window. Great anticipation by the quarterback. Just a great job by Fantastic those two. Fantastic job. Let's roll the next play. All right. So got to the next one. Um, understand that the, the clock, we got a first down. So the clock stopped. They set the chains. Another opportunity to take a shot. I like to take these shots right here. Um, with the clock stopped, we had plenty of time. We got timeouts, so let's take a chance at this, right? They ended up playing this man right here, which um, they were playing zone, playing zone. You could see that Will was picking them apart. They adapted. They went man to man free on this with uh, some. It's soft man free, which we had a, uh, a bender route right here called where that safety in the middle of the field is the one that dictates this. See how far this guy's playing off. He's on the goal line, mm -hmm. which there's going to be the grass right here. So that's where Will holds that safety, he understands that he's going deep. So a uh, great read by David Sills, understanding that the coverage is going to be underneath. They, they end up putting a good ball on it where he almost punches this one in. Yeah, fight almost got four. But again, we have to point out that Will's pocket has been pretty clean. It, it's been very clean. By the they know. offensive line, for sure. Th thought, the, thought the tackles dominated this game. I really? really did. And they did a really good job in terms awesome. of keeping him clean. Okay, go ahead. Let's roll it, KB. Right here, this is a play, a handoff right here. Right, you know, this was a keep, keep, try to try to get something where we were rolling. If you looked at the last like four or five plays, we were chipping our way down the field where we got this down on the three yard line. We understood that we could possibly get a cheap play right here. They ended up actually playing this pretty well. I told Will to continue on to hand this one off because we had timeouts available, right? Uh, just to see how they're going to end up playing us. They end up playing us very heavy in the run fit right there, which there's an added hitter right there, which is tough to do. Um, but it, in our minds, we had a lot of time on the clock, run it, take a timeout. Absolutely. So let's take a look here at the touchdown. Now, again, David Sills said, now this was the first one that we showed is that it was the inside route. Okay, <laughs> now he goes outside with an incredible throw and an incredible catch. Right. We knew that we had length on the perimeter. Right? Their, their corners were talented kids and can run fast, but we knew we had a few inches on them. So uh, simple after the timeout, come out. Wanted to make sure that we had a, we had a run play called. Wanted to make sure that they would at least, because we had another timeout. Um, they came out and they loaded the box up again and played us zero. There's a lot of guys right here. They're leaving one-on-one -on -one matchups, especially look at all that space. And we, we just told them that we we're going to give them a jump ball. Uh, we knew that that guy on, on the outside release, he was going to turn his eyes away from Will, where you just give David Sills a chance. Yeah. He's going to make that happen. Let's drive. Unbelievable. Good job by you. Good job by the whole offense. And uh, it was really special. Thanks for coming in with us today yeah, and bro. pointing that out. You know, I hope you get to do a lot more in the Wolf's Den <laughs> because it means we're having a lot of success. Yeah, well, let's keep it rolling. All right, good deal. Hey, stay tuned for a lot more to come in the Dana Holgerson Show. Wolf's Den is sponsored by the all-wheel drive RAV4, the official SUV of the Mountaineers, with all these advanced safety features standard. Visit buyatoyota.com for special offers. <laughs> Toyota, let's go places. The Dana Holgerson Show will return after these messages.